Tavuni, the garden island of Fiji. Over the next few days, we'll be exploring this majestic island. So come with me on an adventure. Founded by Abel Tasman, Tavuni, known as the Garden Island of Fiji, is located in the province of Vakandrove. With a population of 9,000 people, it is quite inhabited. Its main capital is Wairiki. Our first night in Tavuni we spent in Lavena, on the northernmost tip of the island, specifically at the end of the literal road. We spent it on the beach. It was quite a unique experience. We slept, we slept in tents under the moonlight. Our second day on Tavuni, we hiked to the Lavena Falls, approximately 3k from Lavena. <laughs> Lavena Falls is located approximately 3 kilometers from Lavena Village on what is dubbed the Coastal Walk. Lavena Falls consists of a waterfall approximately 16 meters high located in a rotunda along a narrow passageway. After finishing up at the Lavena waterfall, we made our way back to the van where we proceeded to Boma. Boma is, is located about 30 minutes from Lavena. It consists of three waterfalls, only one of which we went to. It also happened to be the biggest waterfall at a height of 24 meters. And that concluded our time at Boma. We next made our way to the Vuna Blowholes. The Vuna Blowholes are located at the southernmost tip of the island. They are a volcanic rock formation with gaps in the rock which continually get filled with water until they reach the bursting point where the water would spray out. And with that, we made our way back to Wairiki. That concluded our day at Vuna. Little do we know at the start of the third day that it would be our most challenging day. We hiked up to Devil Peak, approximately 1,100 meters. In the mountain tops, where you can't see anything. Finally, we have reached the summit of Devil Peak. As you can see, we are draped in cloud coverage and mist. If you look out there, you can see the Tangimozia flower nestled on the end of that tree. 
We have a sample here. 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 Here you can see the uh, bright reddish pink petals. Would you like to elaborate more on this? You know, there's a unique story behind this uh, plant. Huh? It is uh, red represent the blood, white represent the tears. After making the treacherous trek down from Devil Peak, we then cooled off at the local watering hole. This concluded our third day. Our morning started quite early when we, saw, when we made our way to the waterfall, although we stopped by the International Dateline. After finishing up at the International Dateline, we made our way towards the natural water slides. We spent about an hour at the water slides, taking photos and generally just messing about. After finishing up at the natural slides, we made our way back to Saki's house where we made our final preparations for our soon departure. Won't you stay with me? And with this came the end of our Taviuni trip. We happened to secure an exclusive interview with teacher, survival expert so and all-around outdoorsman, the, uh, Master of Mario. The aspect of the trip? What makes it so enjoyable? Why do the kids look forward to it so much? Um, they need to just have this thing with water. And uh, I think with Tavini, what the has to offer is uh, tons and tons of water. Um, um, water coming out of everywhere. There's like waterfalls, never-ending waterfalls. And uh, by the end of the five days, they like uh, almost had enough of soup. So that's the fun thing. They just got water everywhere. The kids just love to jump in. And the, the different uh, waterfalls offer different challenges. And it's good to see them challenging themselves. And having fun. Because that's what they're going to write about when they're uh, planning their, their actual uh, camps. Okay. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Ryan. We have set up an interview with Gamea native Samuel Mbola. Samuel Mbola, come back. Um, could you tell us a bit about your eye on Gamea and uh, also Dr. Wanga? First of all, Gamea has beautiful waves, man. Best waves to surf for. I'll be sure to remember that for next time, Sam. Yeah, man, you should go there. Sure. Um, well, I'm from uh, Kodoma. It's a village in Gamea. It's, most, it's the biggest and the most beautiful uh, village there. Um, yeah, the most beautiful place in Dakwanga. Dakwanga, he's a, he's not to be a shark god protector of Dakwanga. It's a tabu in Kamea. Yeah, mostly province around Dakwanga. Islanders, islands around Dakwanga. The, does Dakwanga just protect native Fijians, or do we protect uh, the tourists that travel to the islands as well in Dakwanga? Native Fijians, mostly. Like, they're like you know, number one on the list to protect. Okay. And Have you ever heard of any uh, Fijians from Latin Rome being attacked by uh, sharks? Mm, no. Love some. Appreciate your time. The cost for traveling to Taviuni by ferry is 75 for adults and 60 for children. The plane tickets, on the other hand, start at a steep price of 280 per person. There are many different modes of transport around Tavini, including the local bus, which costs $5, but only runs twice a day, morning and evening. The more preferable option is mini bus, which costs $400 for a full day of sightseeing, or $15 just to, just to Lavena. Homestay at some of the different villages around Tavini started $25, but if your own camping gear is brought, a simple donation is all that's required.
Salua, our Lord.